In this video, I'll cover my initial analysis and impressions of IKEA ladder rechargeable batteries, and I'll give some updates on the two battery chargers that I compared in a previous video, the PowerX MHC9000 Pro and the Lito Carla LII600. I recently bought a batch of IKEA ladder batteries. These batteries are a little secret that more and more people are gradually finding out about. When I first heard about them, I was confused. Why is someone recommending rechargeable batteries from a manufacturer of flat pack furniture with a proclivity to give its products strange names? When you do a bit more digging, you find out that there is only one factory in Japan that produces low self-discharge nickel metal hydride batteries, and these are sold under different brand names. Eneloop batteries are excellent, but they're expensive. From what I can ascertain, the IKEA ladder branded batteries are as good as Eneloop, but they just have a different label and they are significantly cheaper. I've been meaning to get some for a while, but I've only just got around to it. Although not perfect, my initial impressions are very favorable. The first thing I did was to carry out a full discharge and charge to get an indication of the true capacity. This is quite easy. On the Litocala, you just press and hold the mode button until it starts flashing and then you can change the mode, charge, discharge, test, repair, back to charge, discharge. Since buying some decent smart technology battery chargers, I've discovered that quite a few batteries I've bought in the past turned out to be fakes. These, these Sony ones are a complete joke. And these Eneloop ones, they work quite well, but they are fake and they're nothing like the um, actual rated capacity. I bought the batteries directly from IKEA to ensure they weren't fakes, and this actually saved me money. Some people are selling these online through platforms such as Lazada, but they're actually more expensive than buying directly from IKEA. After discharging and then charging, I found that about half of the AA batteries were slightly below the rated 2450 milliamp hour capacity as were 9 out of 16 of the AAA batteries, which are rated at 750 milliamp hours. In percentage terms of full capacity, the AAA batteries were lower on average than the AA batteries. I had hoped to be able to buy some 900 milliamp hour AAA batteries, but the only ones available online at IKEA were rated at 750 milliamp hours. Despite this, the ladder batteries still have more capacity than my best performing Eneloop batteries. I should add that the genuine Eneloop 1900 milliamp hour batteries I own are quite old, and that the Eneloop Pro batteries, these black ones, that are rated at 2550 milliamp hours, appear to be fake. Fake electronic goods are a big problem where I live in Thailand, especially if bought online. Furthermore, using my battery chargers, I've been able to claw back some of the lost capacity with the ladder batteries. I'll talk about that in a minute or so. But now, I'll give you a few more updates regarding the chargers. When I made my comparison video between these two chargers, I didn't mention accuracy. The reason for that was because I didn't have any reference sources. As I just said, the batteries I have are either old or fake and I don't know what their actual capacity is. However, having just bought some brand new ladder batteries with known capacities, I now have a reference. I just found out that the PowerX charger, this one, is wildly out. When I discharged and charged the 2450 milliamp hour AA batteries, I got readings of between 3200 and 3700 milliamp hours with the PowerX, which is way too high. On the other hand, the Litho Carla was right on the money, giving readings of the exact rated 2450 milliamp hours, plus or minus 150 milliamp hours or so. I analyze and charge my batteries fairly often, and from now on, I will take capacity readings using the Litho Carla because of the inaccuracy of the PowerX. The best performing ladder AA battery had a capacity of 2,587 milliamp hours, and the best performing AAA battery was 825 milliamp hours, which I thought was very impressive, 
and it's quite a bit more than the rated capacity. Most of the batteries that were analysed with a capacity below the official rating were only slightly lower, but one AAA battery was very low. The first thing I did was to discharge the batteries, and most already had quite a lot of charge, therefore the discharge operation took quite a while. With the battery in question, it discharged almost immediately, indicating it was empty, and when I did a charge, it would only accept 300 milliamp hours. To try to fix this, I carried out a repair using the break-in mode of the PowerX charger. This was successful and I was able to increase the capacity to over 600 milliamp hours from 300 milliamp hours. All you do is put in the battery and then scroll down to break-in mode, press enter, then you have to put in your battery capacity and then it does it automatically. And as I said previously, the capacity rating is a lot more accurate with the Lissocala, but some functions work a lot better on the PowerX. For example, the um, repair function, which, which is called break in on this charger, works far more effectively than the repair function on the Lissocala charger. I've not been able to get the repair mode of the Lissocala charger to work. To answer that mode, just press down the mode button again and then press to go through the various modes into repair. In order to repair, it discharges and charges the battery several times automatically. But every time I use this function, it just stops working. It goes through the discharge cycle so that the capacity of the battery is 0%. And then it just stops instead of switching back into a charge cycle. I've read on some online forums other people have had exactly the same problem. I've tried several times and I just can't get it to work. The repair function on the PowerX charger, referred to as break-in mode, is excellent. Not only does it work, but it uses a very low charge current of just one-tenth of the battery capacity. If your battery is rated at 700 milliamp hours, as these IKEA AAA batteries are, it uses a charge current of just 70 milliamps. And a low charge and discharge current seems much more effective when doing a repair. Even if the Lissocala repair mode worked, which it doesn't, the lowest charge current is 250 milliamps, and it needs to be lower to be more effective. The only problem with the PowerX charger when doing a repair is time. Due to the very low charge current, it takes a very long time and a repair takes two days or more. The process I've been using to increase battery capacity takes a very long time. I've been using break-in mode with the PowerX charger because it works very well, but because of the inaccurate reading on the PowerX, I then do a discharge and charge with the Lissocala to get a more accurate reading. The repair process isn't always successful and sometimes the capacity of the batteries actually decreases slightly. However, most of the time there's an increase in capacity and repeating the process again sometimes results in further increases. To summarize, these IKEA ladder batteries seem to be just as good as I've heard elsewhere. It seems that the AA batteries are still available in either 1900 or 2450 milliamp hour capacity. But with the AAA batteries, you can now only get them in 750 milliamp hour. The 900 milliamp hour AAA batteries are no longer available on the IKEA website. One comment I saw said that IKEA was either going to stop selling ladder batteries or was going to change the supplier, resulting in lower quality batteries. The suggestion was to stock up on as many as you can while they're still available. Considering how much cheaper they are than Eneloops and that they were probably made in the same factory, the ladder batteries are great value, especially the AA 24 50 milliamp hour versions. The AAA batteries are also good value but my initial testing indicates that half the batteries I purchased don't quite reach the rated capacity. 
I therefore can't recommend the triple A's as highly as I can recommend the double A's. Regarding the chargers, overall I still slightly prefer the Leto Carla LII 600 for its usability, for the fact that it displays more information such as capacity percentage, resistance and temperature, and now I have discovered that it is more accurate than the PowerX. However, I can't get the repair mode to work with the Leto Carla and the PowerX does a fantastic job at repairing batteries with issues using the break-in mode. With batteries that have low capacity, I've been able to increase the capacity using the PowerX break-in mode on several occasions. If you intend buying more than one smart technology battery charger, consider buying different brands or different models because you'll probably find that certain chargers perform certain functions better than other chargers. Both of my chargers are great for basic discharging and charging, but the PowerX is my go-to charger for repairs, and I use the Leto Carla for analysis when I want an accurate capacity rating. I hope that was useful. If you have any comments, questions, or other feedback, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and more videos soon.